So in this video, I wanted to uh, address one of the commenters on my channel, and I also wanted to clear up the uh, the message that I put out on uh, the I think it was the the video that I posted two days ago. So like um, when I talked about the existence of God, okay, that was something that that was kind of like every when you when I make a vlog. I'm simply giving you a perspective, okay? So it's not like I'm forcing you to believe anything. Now, I understand what it's like to be forced into something that you don't agree with. So I don't do that. Like, I want to be clear, okay? There's a reason why I label um, my videos the way I do. So if, uh, if something says spiritual vlog, that's for people who already believe what I believe or they're agnostic and they simply want a different, uh, you know, a perspective. So every video that I make is a perspective. So like, I don't like for people who don't believe in God, I, I try to separate videos that have to do with God from uh, videos that have to do with gang stalking. So I'm not using my channel to promote like a belief system or anything. So the way I look at it is that God is, uh, spirituality is responsible for what goes on out here. That's the way I see it. So if I were to want to, if I wanted to help people, I would have to address that simply because I think that spirituality is the cause of the stalking. Um, so I can't help people if I pretend that God doesn't exist or I don't insert God into anything that I post. But at the same time, maybe you're being gang stalked and maybe you don't believe in God. I mean, if that's the case, I have a separate vlog and it'll just be called gang stalking vlog. So if you don't believe in God and you're not interested in anything that has to do with God or you don't want a perspective, then you should just ignore uh, anything that says spiritual vlog. So like if I title something, you got to remember that I'm addressing people who are like minded, who think or see things the way I see it. So um, I know that it's easy to be offended, especially when you have a belief system. OK, like people don't want somebody coming along and pushing their uh, a belief system on them. Nobody understands that better than I do. So I wouldn't do that. I will say that my belief is that it is important to believe in God, but that is, that goes back to me having a belief system. Okay. <laughs> so what I'm going to, what I do is I try to find a middle ground. I know people are going to reject this idea no matter what. So that's, that's the way it is. So if you're going to be, if you're that type of person, just pretend that that vlog doesn't exist and, and you know, and look at the content that you feel aligns with your belief system okay <laughs> so you got to remember so okay so i do want to explain why i'm so adamant in my belief system you got to look at everything that goes on in the community okay the gang stalking the 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 community mobbing what they're doing why they're after me the supernatural stuff that i experienced all this stuff plays into my belief system okay so i have read the bible most likely you've never read it the bible explains everything that happens in this community uh sociology doesn't explain what's happening in the community nor does science so i have one explanation for what goes on out here and that's spiritual and god that explains everything so like if you took that out of the equation you're left with a lot of questions and not really any good answers the people you have no idea like right now like i had just made this vlog or about five minutes ago and a gang stalker did something crazy he stopped his car he opened the door and he closed it and i mean they always do that so i didn't really pay it any mind and then i went to uh finish up the video and the video disappeared off my phone okay now i can't show it to you because the video disappeared but you see what i'm talking about <laughs> so the community responds to everything that i do and like you have no idea you have no idea the stuff that i experience living out here if you experience this stuff you'd believe in god too i mean dude you have no idea so you're going to speak from your experiences and if you live the normal life it's, it's easy for you to question the existence of god if you live the normal life i haven't lived the normal life okay the videos that i show you is a taste of what i deal with every single day a taste like every single human being that i live around is out to get me 
there aren't good logical explanations for every single thing that I deal with in life. There aren't any good explanations. There aren't any good scientific explanations for this craziness that I deal with. The way that people respond to me, the stuff they can do, these gang stalkers apparently have the ability to read your mind. How do you explain all this away? Like, you gotta remember that my belief systems comes from uh, my life experiences, not just my, you know, my theories on the formation of the universe. I mean, I'm, I have life experiences that are supernatural how do gang stalkers read your mind how is that possible if you took spirituality out of the equation okay everything that happens like these gang stalkers will be following you around they pop up out of nowhere they're all creepy they do weird stuff they kill animals these are some creepy weird like you have no idea the kind of stuff that i have to see and deal with every day if you did you would be like of course this guy believes in god look at the stuff that he deals with look at what he's seen the stuff that i've seen the stuff that I've experienced, all the supernatural, okay? We're talking about stuff that science may never explain. So the point is that my life experience also dictates how I see everything. If you lived a normal life and nothing weird has ever happened to you, then, I mean, of course you could easily just say, well, maybe God doesn't exist because everything can be explained by science. Science doesn't explain anything that happens in my life at this point. Okay, it doesn't explain the gang stalkers like gang stalkers. You don't understand what gang stalkers do gang stalkers The whole point of what they do is to bring misery and suffering into your life And that's the only thing they get out of it like they just they want you to be negative like that's it So we have this vast conspiracy of people That it's like every single human being that I live around and the only thing they care about is whether I'm negative or not you understand? You see what I'm saying? You, I, I, as, as a scientist, you have to also uh, make uh, conclusions based off of observations and stuff like that. Like you have to see things and just like if I saw something, I have to explain it away the best way I can with the evidence given. Well, I mean, you got to look at what goes on around me. If you have no idea the type of stuff that I experience, you have no idea. The way the gang stalkers, this guy's a gang stalker. He's stopping his car. I don't know. Is my video going to disappear? It might. The last one did. Okay. Like my videos will disappear right off my phone. Like, <laughs> I'm just saying like the last one, uh, I made a video like 15 minutes ago. It disappeared right off my phone, dude. You know, that's the stuff that I'm talking about. You have to explain all of this away without God. All of it. Now they're not going to open the door. Probably. I guess I'm going to keep the video because they're not opening the door up. But look. There is a lot of stuff that you have to explain away, scientifically, is the point. And it's going to be, if you lived, if you were in my shoes, you would probably just give up on that, is the point. <laughs> like, you have to explain every human being that I live around. Like, you have no idea how easy it is to make videos. These people will stop what they're doing and respond to me. It just happened. It just happened. And the video disappeared. It's just like with the cops, you know, that video didn't have audio. All of this stuff, this this vast conspiracy, I'm in the middle of some sort of vast conspiracy in which every single human being wants me to be miserable. Not just that, but if I get close to certain people, I can sense something in them. And it's like a malevolence. Like you can sense things in them. There is a whole lot of stuff that you just do not know because I can't put in videos. If I get close enough to certain people, I can actually sense some sort of evil in them like sense it like a sixth sense there's a whole lot of stuff that you would have a hard time explaining dude like gang stalkers is almost like there's something in them that's not human or something dude you have no idea how deep the rabbit hole goes and i get it if you have never experienced anything weird or supernatural you would just be like well i mean you know gang stalking <laughs> i don't know how you see gang stalking uh you, if you were in my shoes you'd understand why i believe in god you're not the stuff that i experience every single day would seem to suggest that god definitely exists that's why all this is happening and i read the bible and the bible talks about this and people who would never like if you read the bible and everything was normal you wouldn't understand what it was saying like it would say oh the world is out to get you you'd be like well how is that possible why would the world be out to get me see there's no logic in that but then you start seeing that the world actually is out to get you and you have to explain it away logically and you can't 
There's a whole lot of things. There's a whole lot of things. So I'm not going to tell you what to believe. I'm simply going to tell you the situation and let you reach your own conclusions about the situation. But of course, I would believe in God considering everything that I experience every day. You don't know about the supernatural stuff. I go to make videos and there's like a supernatural force that's doing something or something. Dude, you have no idea the type of stuff I experience, man. Like you have no idea, man, it, how deep the rabbit hole goes, dude. <laughs> This is just the the icing on top of the cupcake, the, the gang stalkers responses. And it's not, they're not gang stalkers, they're people and they're all responding. But the point is that after, with all this evidence, not just my theories on the creation of the universe, of course you would suggest it. Science is not explaining all of this away. Neither is sociology. Nothing is explaining all this away. So like, as much as I respect logic and science, we're gonna have to accept that there's a lot of stuff going on that defies what we know about people and the universe. Like everything we were taught about people, these people defy everything we know about civilization, period, really. Their behavior is not, is not studied in sociology. We don't know why they behave the way they do. There's no logic in any of it. There's no logic in any of it. So maybe we should look past logic is the point. So I hope that makes sense. And I'm actually going to make another spiritual vlog. And look, if you don't believe that is your choice, it's your choice. Uh, I'm simply saying that I have good reasons to believe what I believe is all I'm saying. With that said, let me go ahead and close.